Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Right now, as I'm speaking, William Ruto is live on X, uh, formerly Twitter, and I think there was a lot of problem for him to get live. I think three, three attempt without success. I don't know, was it Kenyans who were, who were reporting him to the Twitter or what was happening? But he's speaking right now. But there is a video uh, that is being shared on social media right now. And in that video, William Ruto is hard speaking, but in his... And right now, there is a video clip that has leaked out. And uh, in that video clip, William Ruto's team was trying to train him on a number of lies that he can uh, get to talk about once he gets to speak to Kenyans. So Ruto was literally rehearsing on a, a number of lies to come and do as usual on the X space. I've heard them talking about the issue of jobs and remittance, UAE leading, Qatar following, and uh, the others. These are things that Ruto normally celebrate. I don't understand. You celebrate exporting labor or providing labor here in Kenya. It's not unique. In the website to me. In the website to employment. Can I trust? That was the... This is where... I don't know the business is good. <clears throat> the number of jobs there now, 397. And last, in the last 12 months, we sent this much. How many? 120,000. In the last one year? 120,000. Yeah. Majority are to Qatar. Okay. <laughs> Who are we waiting for? People are still joining. Now, as we continue with the panel discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, can we say that Gen Z's are even up to the state house? That they are working for state house, but... They are not comfortable with the policies of one William Ruto because when you take a salary cut, they also are affected. Is it that Jesus Wako Paka Huko or what is happening? Or is it the incompetence of some of the people that he has placed in a position of advice and all those other things? The communication team. Because at some point you will agree with me that Ruto appointed his friends to position of power and leadership not because they are competent but because they are his friends so is it incompetence or can we say that where things have reached it is clear that uh, obvious that this war is between God and William Ruto so by every means it has to be exposed and you know God don't like God doesn't like lies. God doesn't like people who mock him. And Ruto seems to be mocking God in all things that he's doing. Why invoke the name of God when you know you are wrong? So, 
is clear Ruto lies with the severe impunity. <laughs> Therefore, we shouldn't listen to him. Just look at that. Rehearsing what to come and say. And uh, most of the things that he will come to speak about, it is lies. So yes, briefing is there. It should happen. But it should not be based on uh, what to come and lie to the people. But definitely, this man, he will always go and rehearse on a number of things to come and lie to Kenyans. And I wonder, they've talked about the remittance and all that. And uh, UAE comes number one, United Arab Emirates. Then Qatar, what was Qatar? <laughs> you comes number two. That means there are many Kenyans in UAE, there are many Kenyans in Qatar, and elsewhere. For William Ruto, this is achievement. I don't know how it becomes achievement when you are exporting labor rather than providing job opportunities and an environment that is friendly to allow people to invest back home such that men will come back and do their business. Some people have been pushed to a wall to go to these countries. Let it be people go there by choice, not because the economy is not working and everything has become so hard. This man is celebrating this. For Kibaki, he was saying that he prayed that Kenyans who have been abroad, they can come back to the country, build the country, and then do their business here. Ruto want to build UAE. Ruto want to build Qatar. But Ruto want to destroy Kenya. And he is happy to celebrate this. That is the man we have. Now when it comes to this, I've been once in one of these countries <laughs> for quite some good time. So I know. I've worked in a um, hospitality industry. I've been to Doha. So, I don't know why he's celebrating that. We went there. I'm one of the people. We went there because the situation was not allowing us here. You come to a salary, they are cutting down. I resigned from my job and seeked a job elsewhere. There is nothing to celebrate because you are building another nation. You are not building your own country. You are celebrating remittance, yes. But why can't you create jobs here so that now you export not labor but products? For him, the main goal, it is that. I had it. So besides this, we see a struggling William Ruto to deal with the issue of youth. And this man really, in as much as talking about budget cut and all those things, until we see him walking the talk, we cannot waste any minute trusting William Ruto. Until we see what he's talking about happening, we must see things rolling. But if not, it is dangerous to trust Ruto. This man lies without blinking. So he was preparing to come and address the youth. I have seen the comments there. But the majority of Kenyans understand that the person they are listening to is a liar who always rehearses on his lies. So when he comes, he comes with the confidence to lie to you. He come with courage. He want to win your trust. And you know, some might buy into his lies. Others will not. Because we know the man we are dealing with. Very dangerous when it comes to lies. So he has been forced into listening. But we want to see him doing exactly what he's talking about. Alituambia mambo ya kas 
Amesha sema haita kuweko. <laughs> Alikuwa ameka 50. But you know what? Some of these people is alleged that they have offices. They are getting salary. Someone told me that at one point he walked into an office only to discover that there is a chief administrative secretary operating from that office and the government office and he has the secretariat najua na watu kenya wengi wanajua so we must not quickly buy into those lies lazima tuchunguze vizuri sana this man has trained a lot when it comes to lying he lies with the impunity sasa mambo yanaenda hivyo yani i think yani mungu amekasirika na ruto imebidi sasa akifanya vitu vingine zinaanikwa there are things that should not come to public especially when it is being addressed in boardroom uh, meeting chaired by the president kuna mambo mengine sikia kusema but look look here they are leaking out such kind was it a mistake someone just missed to switch off the mic or they wanted to expose ruto Tuseme Gen Z have finally invaded the state house. Ama kuna endaje? Anyway, I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.